I just want to, I just want a, 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 a character that doesn't give a fuck. I love it when they say, you know, superheroes don't kill people. And The Rock says, I do. Can they reboot the DCEU with this? You got to bring back Henry Cavill. I would love for you to bring back Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. I would love to have Ben Affleck back as Batman. And Jason Momoa. Absolutely. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody gives a fuck about Aquaman without Jason Momoa. I'm sorry. Everybody else, you can get the hell on up out of here. I'm not watching that Flash movie. That shit is garbage. Urza Miller is garbage. Bring Ben Affleck back, but do a Gotham verse. And stop being afraid of doing the supernatural elements of Gotham, bro. I'm so sick of that shit. Like, I don't even need Batman. You don't even got to give me Batman. Give me, uh, um, give me Vicky Vale, Hugo Strange, and Killer Croc, and I'll give you a really good horror movie based in Gotham, rated R. I don't even need Batman. If you really want to reboot the DCEU, that's how you do it. Don't copy Marvel. Stop making your shit for kids. Make that shit rated R, B. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Atreus. I'm coming at you live from the ATL, bringing you more pop culture news, commentary, and analysis centering around video games, entertainment, movies, TV shows, and everything in between. And today we got to talk about The Rock, Black Adam, and Superman. We're going to get into it right after the drop. What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up on honey. All right, team, you already know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button, the red subscribe button, and then go down into the description. Follow me on all the socials, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be. And if you are a sub, just let me know and I will follow you back. That is guaranteed. All right, let's go ahead and get into the uh, news. All right. The Rock. The Rock teases Superman's return. Black Adam is the most powerful and unstoppable force on the planet. But the most powerful and unstoppable force in the universe has been on the sidelines for too long. Let me just say this. I don't know who does it better. Right now, I have to give the edge to Ryan Reynolds. But The Rock and Ryan Reynolds embodies these two characters like, like they take it so seriously. It's, obviously, it's obvious that they are in love with these characters. And so I have to like... I, I beg people to support, you know, The Rock and, and, and Ryan Reynolds. Now, if The Rock has convinced Warner Brothers to bring back Henry Cavill as Superman, the only question I have is, are they going to reboot the DCEU? I mean, I don't know. But, <laughs> I mean, this is, to me, this is a no-brainer, right? Uh, Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson absolutely plans to make a black Adam versus Superman movie. That is, he says that is the whole point of this man. Dwayne recently told cinema blend that the whole point of bringing a uh, black Adam to the big screen in his own standalone movie is so that one day he can make a black Adam versus Superman movie. Johnson has often been asked by fans, which character would win in the fight. It depends on who's, it depends on who's playing Superman. He said at a uh, comic con. Uh, over the summer, when a when asked directly if he intends to make a movie where Black Adam fights Superman, Johnson replied, absolutely, that is the whole point of this. Now, he says, I have been saying for some time, there's a new era in the DC universe that's about to begin. And what I meant by that was introducing a brand new character. It's not a sequel, not an existing IP. It was, you know, Black Adam. Two years ago, the world had no idea who he was. Why well, did we did? but not the rest of the masses out there. What I really meant by this is a new era in the DC universe is listening to the fans and doing our best to give the fans what they want. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, do, do he, he knows what's going on out here. <laughs> the rock does strike me as a guy who's like, you know, reading comments. <laughs> I have no doubt. He says, uh, I have been listening and I've been wanting to address fans for years regarding the desire to have Black Adam and Superman fight on the big screen. I've been waiting for someone to step up and address the fans and say, hey, we hear you. So finally, after many months turned into many years, we ended up with what we ended up at. And the whole goal and intention is now in this new era, new time. Now let's build it out. I have a feeling that this is going to be one of those movies that the critics are probably not going to like that much, but fans aren't going to give a fuck. I think, honestly, this movie doesn't have to do much but show The Rock just destroying shit. 
and people going to be in the theaters like, ah, it's going to be crazy. First of all, anything with The Rock in it is just going to be must-see TV. Isn't it amazing? Remember when The Rock first debuted as an actor? I, I, the first movie I seen him in was the, uh, the Mummy Returns and uh, The Scorpion King. And everybody was like, yo, this motherfucker can't act. And now he's like, literally, who's a bigger superstar than The Rock right now? Chris Pratt? Who else? Not many. Not many. Vin Diesel f- fell off. You know? Uh, I, I'm talking about action guys. Jason Statham. Hasn't really, you know, done th- done anything in a while. Sheesh. Idris Elba? Uh, anyway, the point is, The Rock is going to, I have no doubt he's going to kill this role. And based on what I've seen in the trailers, he looks to be unforgiving. See, I didn't really want, the thing I like about Black Adam is that he's a vill- he's like an anti-hero, right? He sometimes he's a villain, sometimes he's a hero. I just wanna, I just wanna a a, a a character that doesn't give a fuck. I love it when they say, you know, superheroes don't kill people, and The Rock says, "I do." <laughs> fuck out of here! <laughs> get the fuck out of here! I kill people. I don't know where you get this Batman bullshit from, but I slaughter people. Fuck with my people, and your whole people's getting slaughtered. Don't care. I like that. So, can they reboot the DCEU with this? In my opinion, you got to bring back Henry Cavill. And I would love for you to bring back Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Whoever did the Wonder Woman sequel, get them the fuck out of here. Bring back the people who did the original movie. Keep the feminist tropes out of there. I would love to have uh, Ben Affleck back as Batman. If you can get those four. Oh, oh. And Jason Momoa. Absolutely, because I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody gives a fuck about Aquaman without Jason Momoa. I'm sorry. Like, the whole rebranding, the tattoos, the long hair, that's Aquaman. Now, that bullshit that's in the comics and the video games, get that shit the fuck up out of here. Uh, So, Jason Momoa, bring back Jason Momoa, Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, keep Dwayne Johnson um, as as, uh, Black Adam, and then, of course, Henry Cavill. Everybody else, you can get the hell on up out of here. I'm not watching that Flash movie. That shit is garbage. Urza Miller is garbage. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really a fan of Cyborg like that. I thought the design looked... I think they can do better than that. Um, And who else? You can really just give a whole new cat. You ain't even got to do Cyborg. Do somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Do Raven. You don't have to do the Flash either. Bring Oliver Queen in. Somebody. Just don't bring Urza Miller back. I'm telling you, if I see Urza Miller, I'm not watching it. So, hey, you know, that's just me. But, yeah, if you bring those core characters back and, you know, you can have Superman and Black Adam fight, but then ultimately have to team up against uh, Darkseid, Come on, bro. That's foolproof. And, and you know what? Keep Batman out of it. What you need to do. I'm just telling y'all. I'm just, I'm just giving y'all. I'm giving y'all the juice. Don't even bring Batman back. Bring bring Ben Affleck back, but do a Gotham verse. You don't need Batman in the Justice League. You don't even need to do Justice League. Just have Black Adam and Superman fight and then have um 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 him and Superman fight against Darkseid or some shit. Ben Affleck's Batman is terrorizing, is, is terrifying. Just do a Gotham verse and stop being afraid of doing the supernatural elements of Gotham, bro. I'm so sick of that shit. Like, hot take coming in. I don't like Christopher Nolan's Batman. Like, the movies were good, don't get me wrong, but it's too down to earth. Batman got Clayface. He got Killer Croc. He got, uh, um, you know, the Red Hood. 
you know, he got Bane, the real Bane, not that bullshit we got in the Dark Side Rises. He got, you know, the Court of Owls. The, the talons in the Court of Owls. There's there's many... Mr. fucking Freeze, like, get the fuck... Stop being afraid of doing the supernatural elements of Batman and Gotham. I could give you... I don't even need Batman. You don't even got to give me Batman. Give me... Uh, um, give me Vicky Vale, Hugo Strange, and Killer Croc, and I'll give you a really good horror movie based in Gotham, rated R. No, I don't even need Batman. So, if you really want to reboot the DCEU, that's how you do it. Don't copy Marvel. Stop making your shit for kids. Make that shit rated R, B. Say, you know what, Marvel? We're going to let y'all do y'all thing. We're going to prove we can do it our way. Be yourself. Be your own identity. Because right now, Marvel fucking they shit up. So, hey, just my idea. If y'all really want to do that, though, y'all can hit me up. I can have you a script before 2023. You know what I'm saying? Just give me Vicky Vale. Give me Killer Croc. Give me Hugo Strange. And I have you a hour and 30 minute horror movie. Rated R. In a hot minute. Anyway, what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later.